Hey everyone, what is up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jay, also known as Manifesting Legend. On this channel, we talk about manifestation through the law of attraction, the law of assumption. We talk about spirituality through the lens of multiple philosophies and teachings. I also go deeper in self-development and self-concept. So if you love to join our community, which is called the Butterfly Gang, we are a community of constant conscious creators that is constantly evolving, existing, experiencing, and manifesting within this human reality. My voice sounds a little raspy because I'm recovering from a cold. If you are located in Georgia, <clears throat> there has been a couple hurricanes that has been that have been crazy, but we're over it now. And um, yeah, like I'm happy to make videos and talk to you guys about becoming your desired self. Subscribe, it's free. You're gonna want to join. We literally are main characters of our realities and we get everything that we want just because we said so. So today I'm going to be talking about a perspective that I personally loved delving deep into, especially over being a little sick for a while and being in bed, you know, I really had to go within my inner worlds and really see the certain points to where I was choosing the path of hardship and choosing the path of life being hard and things not working out and just on the negative part of everything working out for me. So I'm gonna explain this in the most simplest way I can. This is my peppermint tea for moments like this where I need to drink it. So good. <clears throat> so now we're gonna be talking about this. So there's two people in life. I wanna explain this in the most simplest, the most effortless and the most easiest form possible. And I will, so basically, two people in life. Both people, regardless of, go through events in life, go through circumstances, go through, some may like to call it blockage, go through events, you know, and there are two ways one person can go about this. But don't get me wrong, that's why I'm saying there's two people that go about this, so the first person becomes really negative towards their circumstances and events and situations compared to the person that isn't negative and is positive and chooses to really look at life as if these events and circumstances don't stop them. So I'm going to go more deeper into the negative part. When you look at your circumstances and your situations and things that happen in your reality and really look upon them as if they limit you and look at the bad in them and just let them define who you are as a person you then not only give your awareness your focus and your power to the situation or circumstance but you allow it to grow you allow your mind to be focused on it you allow your emotions to be attached to it this inevitably will keep on creating the reality of the circumstance having a bigger impact on you the event feeling so much more worse your emotional state not being stabilized because you've put all your energy on this not to mention just like we breathe just like we blink we are always manifesting and the thing about that is is that whether you're conscious of manifesting as a conscious manifester or you are an unconscious manifester we are always manifesting and the thing about this is that you're going to keep manifesting the situation over and over again. And it may not be in the same form, but it'll be within the same energy and within the same mindset and vibration and, you know, point and path of way of life. And when you are looking at it in a positive perspective, you look at your circumstances in a positive perspective through the perception of this circumstance happened in my life, but I know I'm the creator of my reality. I know that this circumstance does not define who I am and I get circumstances can be hard but once again just like I said you're unconsciously manifesting so if you're a positive through the circumstance and the event and the situation that's happening towards you you not only have more leverage your focus and awareness is on well the circumstance happened but I still am here living I am still on the other side I still am going to keep going at it because even in adversity, even in difficulty, even in hard circumstances, which both people are given, I'm going to keep pushing. 
I am going to realize that this circumstance did not define me. Just like when I talked about the external validation, the negative person, the negative mindset, the negative perception would look at this external circumstance and allow it to define what's in here and what's capable. Aside from the person that has a positive perspective, positive mindset, looking at the circumstance and internalizing, realizing this doesn't define me. And the fact that this happened, I created this in some form or fashion or way to where, you know what, I can create better for myself. I can get over this. I am getting over this. I know that everything is rigged in my favor regardless of this does not define who I am. This does not define my future. This circumstance and situation isn't the end. This is just the beginning because this adds on to not only my experiences, but my lessons, but the most amazing rebound that's going to happen because of this. So do you guys understand what I mean? Like, there's two ways you as an individual, as a human, as a conscious creator in this life. There's two ways you have to choose. You have option A, which is negative, and option B. Choosing option A, I get some doctors and scientists may say that it's easier to choose the negative, but we're cutting that belief out. We're canceling that affirmation and we're affirming it is easy to be positive, okay? I want to say this and I want to say that your circumstance, your situation, what's going on in front of you does not define how the end result will be, does not define who you are as a person, does not define the totality of it all. Because you have to remember and keep it in your brain that you are unstoppable and that nothing or no one will get in your way because you will not allow it to get in your way. You will not allow yourself to look at these circumstances happening in front of you. You won't allow yourself to create a feeling that makes you feel so unworthy. Because one, if you're emotionally regulating yourself, which I mean meditating and breath work and keeping up with your self-concept, which... I don't know if this video is going to be uploaded before the self-concept video, but I said it already in a video and self-concept should be a habitual habit, should be a daily practice, should be something like prayer, something that you keep up with yourself to maintain the lifestyle, to maintain the reality that you live in. And remember, you only accept what you accept from within. Someone calls you mean names. If you accept that, to ruin who you are as a person, if you accept that to affect you, now that you know that you are a conscious manifester, now that you know that you can emotionally regulate yourself, now that you know that inevitably your reality is simply yourself, you are just choosing to be negative. You are just choosing to go around them. Let the negative circumstance, let the circumstance in general, because remember, circumstances are just circumstances. You're letting the circumstance create this negative emotion when if a circ when or if a circumstance pops up in your life you understand that one you're unstoppable two you understand that this doesn't dictate your future this doesn't dictate who you are and you really and truly realize that circumstances are just your pushing points it happens oh well you're gonna get over it you're gonna get past it you're going to move on. If you've been emotionally regulating yourself or if you are working on that, perfectly fine. You will understand that you're not going to create a feeling when something happens in your life, whether that be with people, whether that be with situations that happen. You are not going to give your power away. And this is what we mean as manifestation coaches and law of assumption attraction coaches. It's like we're not giving our power away to things that have nothing to do with us. Because I'm not even going to sit here and say, although it may be hard, no. Although it may be easy, getting this in your mind, because I really want you to understand that you are what it takes to get over a circumstance or situation. And truthfully speaking, when you are keeping up with your self-concept, when you are keeping up with emotionally regulating yourself, you will begin to notice certain situations that affected you before have no power over you. You will begin to notice that when certain people tell you things, it will not affect you because when you are secure, 
in yourself, when you know who you are, when you set the boundary and the limit, the rest follows. And this is deeply the truth. This is something that you as a human, are, like this is who you are. Like you are a, you are a manifester. Whether you are unconscious and you know you don't know about it or you are conscious and you're here watching this video with me, knowing about it and learning more about it and becoming the version of yourself that is manifesting exactly what you want. So take what resonated. Don't take anything if it doesn't. I love you. Thank you guys for watching this video. That's all I wanted to come on here and say. Damn, <laughs> I really had to get all that out before I drink again. Please be sure to stay elevated, stay manifesting like a legend, and I truly want you guys to know, choose the positive path in life, choose the path of least resistance, choose the path of which your manifestations, your desires, everything in life is aligning for your greater good, because it's there to benefit you. That's it, that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next YouTube video. Bye.